If you want some stunning new decorating ideas for 2024 and learn how to get them on a budget, I'm gonna share all the latest trends with you today. Let's get started. As someone who loves art and decorating, I find keeping up with the latest trends in home decor so interesting and inspiring. It's fun to see the shifts in the industry and I love to change up my decor every now and then if I'm loving some of the newest trends and if I can afford it, and if my family loves it. But don't forget, as a general rule, and I always try to say this whenever I can remember, you need to decorate your home for you and for your family, regardless of what is trending. If you love one of these trends, have fun with it, give it a try. If not, decorate your home in a way that makes you comfortable. The first home decor trend that I'm loving for 2024 is called Grandpa Chic Decor. You heard that right, Grandpa Chic. We saw Coastal Grandmother trending a couple years ago where it was like those nice light whites and blues, beachy inspired things. But now we're looking at Grandpa Chic, and I've seen this a lot on social media through some interior design jobs that I've been following. So for this one, think country club meets Grandpa's cozy flannel shirt. So we're looking at kind of a traditional look with a little bit of a masculine twist. The style is not fussy, it is practical, it is warm, and it is very vintage inspired. So a room decorated in this Grandpa Chic style should look like it has pieces that have been collected over time, and I love this look. So how do you get this Grandpa Chic look on a budget? Scour Facebook and Marketplace, vintage stores, antique stores, thrift stores, for things that could work with this aesthetic. Look for furniture with tufting, out of faux leather, out of real leather, look for plaid upholstered pieces and textiles, and warm toned fabric. You can also shop the thrift store for brass decor accents, leather decor accents, warm wood accents like bowls, candlesticks, tabletop decor. I do have a list of 31 things that I always keep my eye open when I pop into the thrift store. I will leave that list for you down in the description box below. It's a free download that you can print out and take along with you. You can also get this look on a budget by sewing your own drapes in the warm plaids, in those warm tones and throw pillow covers. And I have lots of tutorials for those as well. If one of your goals for 2024 is to get started with sewing, Sewing your own pillow covers, sewing your own drapes requires straight seams only, so I would definitely recommend giving those a try. You can do it. Speaking of warm tones, home decor trend number two is using warm red tones in home decor. I remember when warm red was trending when we first bought our garage house, I painted some accent walls in like this peppery warm red color. I think it was called paprika or something. That is happening again. We're seeing warm reds for walls now again in 2024, but we're also seeing more of the purpley toned reds. So those maroon colors and the burgundy colors as well. The reds we're seeing now this year are mostly dark reds and complex. So lots of different tints and shades of colors in that red tone. As well as burgundy, we're seeing some deep ox blood, terracotta, and some dark crimson tones. How to get this look on a budget, one of my favorite ways to update a space on a budget is paint. It's relatively inexpensive for what it does to a space. I know you're gonna have to spend about 50 to $60 now on a gallon of paint, but if you do an accent wall with paint, it's gonna completely change your space for that 50 to $60. You can also sew some DIY accent cushions or throw blankets with some of those warmer red tones. Or if you prefer knitting, you could use the no needle knitting method. And I shared this last year to knit a gorgeous fluffy throw blanket in a warm red tone as well. This would be such a fun project to do over the cold winter months. Trend number three is cottage style wallpaper. Now wallpaper has been trending for the past few years or so. I am a huge fan of wallpaper. I love all sorts of patterns and textures on the wall just to give a room a lot of personality. And we're seeing this this year, which is so exciting. Exciting. People infusing their personality into a space. So long, minimal white rooms, even though I love white, I'm still gonna use it, of course, because I love it. We're seeing more of these floral wallpapers and fabrics and textiles and just interesting colors and patterns and spaces. Not only are we seeing wallpapers in the spaces we know and love wallpaper in, like living rooms and bedrooms and powder rooms, but we're even now seeing it in kitchens and in full bathrooms. How do you get this look on a budget? You don't have to wallpaper an entire room. Wallpaper can be expensive. You can do a feature wall like I did in our tiny lake house living room, or you could do just a half of a wall. This is a perfect application for something like a powder room that I did in my brother's bathroom last year. You can use some paneling for the bottom of the wall, and then on the top of the wall, do a wallpaper treatment. 
I love peel and stick wallpaper because it's really easy to take down. I would definitely do a sample first, but then if you get tired of the pattern, take it down, paint it, put up a different piece of wallpaper. I'll leave a link to some of my favorite wallpapers down in that description box below. If you can't afford wallpaper, you could also use paint and do a wallpaper-like painting application. I haven't done this yet, but I would love to give it a try. I've seen some gorgeous examples on social media and other blogs, like this one from In My Own Style, where she used a stencil and paint to create a wallpaper look, and I think it's absolutely stunning. The next home decor trend we're seeing is bold marble. This has been popular for the past few years. I love marble. I think it's very classic, especially in traditional and transitional style homes. So transitional is where modern meets traditional. We're seeing a lot of large scale marbles like we did last year on everything from countertops in the kitchen to backsplashes to feature walls to tile in the bathroom. And more new for 2024, we're seeing a lot of seamless backsplashes to countertops where the marble is the same on the backsplash and it looks like it's seamless right onto the countertop. To get this look on a budget, you could use a DIY painting kit and paint your own marble surface. I have this kit. I was gonna try it last year and I didn't, so I'm hoping that I can try it this year on a project. Instead of marble panels, you could use large scale marble tiles like we did in our little lake house bathroom. They have the look of an expensive marble slab, but they're 12 by 24 fake marble tiles, they're porcelain tiles, and I think they have that beautiful high-end aesthetic. Home decor trend number five is natural materials. I love this one, and this has been going on for the past few years as well as we're becoming, hopefully, more eco-conscious with our home decorating. Instead of plastics, a lot of interior designers are using more natural finishes, cork, wood, natural stone, etc. And then naturally, interiors are featuring more nature-inspired colors browns, greens, off-whites, blues, and all of those colors that you can find outside. And rather than all white kitchens, we're seeing this nature-inspired trend in kitchens as well, where people are opting for real wood and kind of a medium-toned wood cabinetry. I love an all-white kitchen, and this is a trend that I'm probably not gonna try in the near future, this wooden kitchen trend. I'm gonna stick with the all-white. That's just me, but it's kind of neat to see the wooden kitchen coming back into style. How do you get this natural look on a budget? Natural materials are, I gotta say, usually a lot more expensive than laminate materials. And I know this because often we're on a budget and we have to opt for those laminate materials. However, if you can take a little bit of time, go to somewhere like a Habitat for Humanity Restore Center, maybe you can upcycle some natural materials. So maybe you can find some natural wood cabinetry there. Maybe you can find some natural marble tile. If you're doing some DIY sewing projects this year, opt for natural fibers like cotton, cotton velvets, and like linens. Not only do those look more high-end, but they also feel so beautiful on the skin. The next trend that I love, and I'm a huge, huge coffee nerd, so I love this trend, is the elevated coffee bar. So lots of people have drink stations or coffee stations in their home, but maybe it's just the coffee station in a corner on the kitchen counter. But now we're seeing people and interior designers take a more hotel-like approach to the coffee bar. So actually creating a full coffee station in a dining room or in a kitchen, or even in a nook in the living room. Doing some built-in cabinetry making a really obvious spot for that espresso machine or that coffee machine, doing some shelving for all of the mugs and cups. And I'm personally hoping that I can take our dining room this year and do a built-in look coffee bar in the dining room, hopefully just with some Ikea cabinetry, make it nice and inexpensive. So I hope you can stick around for that. So to get this elevated coffee bar look on a budget, you can do what I'm hoping to do this year and hack some Ikea kitchen cabinets or some Ikea storage cabinets with some trim, with some finishing nails and make it look more built in. You could also do something as simple as use your dining room sideboard or your living room sideboard as a base for your coffee station, install some floating shelves. And then if you wanna add that built in look lighting, I love wall sconces over our coffee station. Rather than spending the money and time to rewire your whole interiors of your walls, you can just use some battery operated light bulbs put them in some wall sconces, and then use a remote for those. Trend number seven, I'm gonna call 
Romance Core. I think Etsy used this this year. I've seen Etsy use this. I am a pure romantic at heart. I'm the kind of person that loves to sit and watch romance movie. I did a lot of this over the holidays. I love period romances especially, so Jane Austen type stuff, love it. My oldest daughter loves them too now and I'm so happy she can watch with me. So if you love that aesthetic, you're gonna love this romance core aesthetic. This is a big contrast to Grandpa Chic. If you like more of the traditionally feminine things in home decor like I do, so bows, velvets, ruffles, flowers, you're gonna love this trend. We saw a lot of these romantic feminine details over the Christmas holidays actually. Bows were huge. People were doing bows on their Christmas tree as a tree topper all around their house. And that's coming with us into the new year. It's kind of that little woman aesthetic. We see lots of bows, we see lots of vintage inspired details, marbles, brass, almost a French country look. So how can you get this look on a budget? Floral accents are a way to make this look come alive. And of course I love flowers, you can make full floral arrangements or if you have a garden, maybe do some cut flowers, roses, peonies, etc., and make your own arrangements, style them throughout your home. You can also find brass vintage inspired accents. So this works with this romantic trend as well as that grandpa chic trend at your thrift store, at your antique store. So candlesticks, little bowls, tabletop decor to add some glimmer to your space. Again, you could also do some sewing. Sew some DIY throw pillow covers in pinks, in creams, in velvets, or maybe do some sort of throw blanket. And if you don't like sewing, I do have some no sew pillow tutorials. I will leave a link for those down in that description box below. If you're curious about all of the big paint brands, colors of the years, I'm also gonna link those in the description box below. They're very interesting. They're kind of airing more on the sides of blue and warm tones. Check those out and let me know what you think. I'd also love to hear what you think of this year's trends that I've spotted. Let me know down in those comments below, as well as any trends you're seeing this year that you wanna try that I've missed. These are just my favorite ones that I think are gorgeous and that I might wanna give a try this year. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I can't wait to share with you more DIY and decor ideas on a budget in 2024. This month is a great month to make your bedroom feel cozy like a five-star hotel. If you wanna make the perfect bed, I'm gonna leave a video for you to watch next right up here.